Okay. Okay, so a friend of mine asked me to show her how I do the masks. This is the one I'm going to do for someone who wanted wolves. Fold it in half. The measurements are on the sheet. First thing I do is run a straight stitch about halfway. And my machine isn't cutting lately. And then another one. That gives the opening. Now I'm going to clip the edges and go to my table and set it up for the next stitch. So now I make sure I've got a crease that I can see and I fold this down on that crease and give it a little fold take some clips clip one end and clip the other end and then we go back to the sewing machine now we're back at the machine these are the elastics I only had was able to get wide elastic so I sliced it down the center to make it a decent size. Shove it down into one side and I change my settings to a zigzag, a tight little zigzag. First and I go back. Come on, go back. One more time forward. I just want to make sure the end has got a good stitch. And then this is the part I hate wrestling with the elastic. I've got to go in and grab it make sure it's flat pull it to this side where the fold is and I use these to shove it back and hold it with my finger and bring it out a little bit and then I hold it tight go back to where I was at And run that stitch go back and back again and that's that one I clip this a little bit off and then I do it again on the other side piece of elastic down Back, forward. This thread, I'll get that in a minute. And then pull this out, get it to the fold, shove it in, hold it back with my fingers, pull the edge out so it's this way so I don't catch it. And then stretch the fabric back and go. I kind of angle it when I go over there to make sure it's getting a good stitch. And my machine is not working properly as far as the cutter. And yes, I tore a fingernail. Now we're going to go back to the table, 
turn it right side out and make the pleats. So we turn it right side out. And of course, poke the ends. And because I cut this, some of these have little frays from the cut. So I try to neaten it up a little bit. And then this side, poke it out, poke it out, straighten it out, get that fold nice, smooth it out, turn it over. So this is the fold where you can put in filter. So this is the front side, and you just grab it like this, give it a little pinch, and fumble around to get this clipped. And then again, right about the middle. them across the room and then one last time these each take about 10 minutes a piece now we're going to go back to the sewing machine and do a zigzag on both sides and then I just press it and give them one of these pieces that I cut out of this stabilizer to go with it and a little note telling them how to deal with it. So now we'll go stitch the sides. I'm gonna pull up the threads that were caught and make sure my thread is there. And this is when I really use this. What are you doing there? So I'm not, I'm doing a zigzag, but I'm holding this so I don't have to hold my fingers because sewing over these pleats are a little difficult. And I need to push it through sometimes. Uh, so they don't bunch. Got right. It. And I want to use the tweezers instead of my fingers. So I don't sew my fingers. Thank you. <laughs> and sometimes I have to lift it up to get that underneath. And... I go back looks yeah. like it's time for us to replace your blade I just did replace it time for me to sharpen your blade yeah it's been acting up okay and if the folds come out like this a little bit I just make sure that they're folded nice when I iron it Okay, now this side, second side is easier because the folds are coming this way. And sometimes I just tuck that little bit in. And I'm really giving it a push there because it's got to get through that fabric. And that's it. I just clean it up, pull off some of these little frayed edges from the elastic, and cut the extra threads that are hanging off. And my thumb hurts. And there you have it. So this is for the girl at Piggly Wiggly, who loved my wolf mask and I told her I'd make her a free one. So now I just press it. Except what the rest of us call ironing? Yes. <laughs>